Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we'll talk about a little feature which is the App Store updates. Now something new in Windows 8 we all know about Windows Update. Windows Update being for the general updates of the Windows itself uh, security updates and um, bug fixes which is automatic in Windows 8 as in any other versions of Windows that you've actually activated the automatic Windows update function. But there's another type of update in Windows 8 that is new to most people and that is app updates. When you look at your App Store, Microsoft Store app that is that little green square, um, you have a little number that shows up at the bottom. You can see here it says store and it says 20. So what does that mean? It means that I have at this time 20 apps that have updates. So how do you do these updates? Well you click on the Microsoft Store and you'll see that on the upper right when you're on the Microsoft Store it says updates and you can click on the upper right on the updates and there you will have the updates that are uh, available for your computer now you see there's little check marks on the uh, all the apps that have updates and what you can do is actually click to remove check marks on the apps that you don't want to have updates from so for example here I'll clear everything and say I want to have an update on the uh, photos and maybe the uh, let's see we'll see what I want to have the SkyDrive app for example mail calendar and people once you've chosen all the apps that you want to update all you have to do is click the little install button at the bottom and what will happen is that you'll see the apps showing up with little bars, progression bars. So uh, depending on each app, you will have more or less time. Some apps are bigger, so they can take longer. It also goes with your internet connection. If, for example, an app is uh, big to download and your internet connection is slow, well, it's going to take longer. So here you see that every app that has been update updated is disappears once the uh, progression and the install has been done and if you look at the store now that I did three updates instead of 20 I've got 17 updates left so just click on updates if everything is okay and you want to update everything at once all you have to do is click the bottom click the install leave it there doing that install process and every app is going to be updated. You have to look at that because the app, uh, the apps from the App Store don't auto update and, and people that actually use an iPhone on their iPad or an iPod Touch already know a little bit about this kind of feature because the App Store on the Apple side has the same feature. It will tell you with a little number on the app logo how many apps need to be updated in your computer and what happens is that you have to click the App Store and click the update to update everything so it's the same thing Microsoft uses pretty much the same way of doing things and here you've just seen that I've updated everything and if you look now there's no more number on the upper right for updates and if I get out um, you see that the little 20 that was there just disappeared telling me oh okay everything's updated on your App Store so um, nothing new. Uh, if you have apps that are buggy or have problems or that crash, um, look at the little uh, logo on the, um, the, the, the tile on the App Store because the Microsoft Store will actually show up updates and they don't do automatically. So if you never click on the store, you'll never actually update any of your apps in your computer so that might cause a problem so this was a little feature on how to update your apps and also to check for it uh, make sure that you look from time to time to uh, the Microsoft Store 
uh, tile because you want to have uh, some of your apps updated. Uh, often is to fix bugs in the apps themselves. Uh, Windows 8 is still pretty new and a lot of the apps that are for Windows 8 uh, are a little buggy at times so having updates is a great way to uh, keep your computer running well and your apps running well. So if you enjoyed these videos, maybe you had your, just had your new Windows 8 computer and want to learn more or just want to learn about Windows 8 in general, uh, well, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And if you have a uh, feature you'd like to see uh, on a video here, let us know. We'll try to put a video online for you. And uh, hope that you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.